what housing do you need to be a foster parent? Good question, right? Can you live in an apartment and be a foster parent? Can you live in an RV and be a foster parent? You want the answer? I guess you do else you wouldn't have watched this video, right? Um, you can be a foster parent if you live in a house or you live in an apartment. I do not think that an RV will work because every single kid, I take that back. I could say that every single kid has to have a room with a door and a window and some kind of closet. But there can be multiple kids in that room if they are the same sex. That actually means that you could put a 16-year-old and a 4-year-old if they're both with boys in the same room. Will I, will I recommend that? No. But you could. Um, what we like to do personally is to put two that get along together, that like each other, that uh, play together if they're young, uh, in the same room. Teenagers, separate. I think teenagers need their own room. They need their privacy. Um, so you have to have a window at all. That means that you cannot put them in a, um, like if you have, you know, when you go up the stairs and you have that open room up there, you cannot put them in there. Even if there's a closet in there, because if there's no door, they cannot be in there. You cannot put them in an the office with no door and no kind of closet space. Uh, yes, you can put an armoire in there or something like that, and there will be a closet. Uh, so it doesn't have to be a walk-in closet. So you can have the max of six kids in Texas, uh, including your own. So I have three, so I can have three kids. Uh, sometimes if you take a sibling group, you can go over six kids, but then they require a lot more from you. I, I will um, share that in, in a different video because that's a totally different subject. Um, so uh, if you live in an apartment, let's say you live in a three bedroom apartment, you have your room and then you have two extra bedrooms. And if you don't have no kids yourself, you can have four kids, you know, or I wonder, I think you can even have three kids in each room. Yes, you can. So you could have six kids total. You could have three in each room. Also, when the kids are one and under, they can sleep in your room. So babies can sleep in your room. Um, and that, um, that makes sense, right? You, you got to get up through the night. It's kind of nice that you don't have to run into a different room. I've done that with my own, my own kids and also with the foster kids. Um, and it's so much fun having a little one like that. Um, so that is about housing, what they expect. It doesn't have, and, and yes, there is a couple more things I probably should share. Your house has to have beds, bed covers uh, for each kid. It has to be a safe house. You have to follow the rules about the medication and uh, there's a lot of rules you have to follow with your house but now I'm just talking about the structure you don't have to have nice nice furniture big TVs in each room you, it doesn't have to be a fancy but I personally and now everything I share is personal but this is very personal to me I want the kids to have a room where they really feel like that's their room so I love putting pictures of themselves in their room, uh, drawings they have done uh, in school or at home, and uh, toys they have helped me buying. I let them buy on Amazon so they can pick their own toys. I don't have to take them to the store. So stuff like that, let them be a part of making their room. I always let them choose their own bed spread. Uh, stuff like that to make it their room. Because it's so important that they feel at home because they are at home. This is their home when they're staying with me. There's a reason why the word is foster parent. I am their parent at that time. This is their foster home 
because this is their home at that time. So make sure that they feel at home when they come. And how do you feel at home? How do you feel at home? What makes you feel at home? For me, it feels at home when, actually when it smells like my home, when I have my stuff there, when I have what I like, my style. So let them get, get their style. Let them get it to smell like their, uh, smell like their own home. I don't know about that one, but um, let them make it feel at home, however that is, whatever that is for them. So if they love red, let them have a red room, not the walls probably, because what if your next kid love orange? So let them get a pillow in red and a teddy bear in red, and maybe you can buy a cheap rug in red and for, like when they step down from the bed, L make it theirs. Um, if they're into mermaids, give them mermaid bed spread. Give them a mermaid to snuggle with, stuff like that. That is also tying in to how you make it, how you make them feel at home as fast as you can. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, I was gonna share this in another video, but I'm gonna share it, I'm gonna give you a bonus. So how I make them feel so at home the first day is that I will ask them, what is your favorite dinner to eat? And I'll do everything in my power if they come on a decent time that day to make that happen and i have learned so many new recipes doing that but making their favorite meal something that they are used to on the first day makes you show that you care and that you're trying to learn about them because remember they're coming into your home and they don't know anything about you they don't know anything about your rules your way of living what have happened to you 10 minutes before they walked in the door? They don't know anything. They're coming into everything in their life is new. The school is new. The, the parents are new. The house is new. The city is maybe new. The siblings are new. This is trauma for these kids. So what can you do as fast as possible to show that you want to make it a home for them? Ask them questions. Make their favorite meal. Ask if you can give them a hug. Ask them what their favorite color is. And sometimes when I have kids that is so sad and so scared and just don't even know they're just frozen, I just sit on the couch and I ask if they want to sit beside me and I put a TV show on and I just sit there and wait. And suddenly, They'll sit in my lap almost every single time. But you gotta give them time, time. And this is not about teenagers, by the way. Uh, teenagers is totally different when they get into your home. But I want to share a video just about the first 24 hours. Um, so that's gonna be different. But young kids, if they're terrified, if they're scared, just sit down with them on the couch, put on a kid's show, just sit there. Maybe get them something to drink. Might be a little snack, but just sit there. And they warm up. Just give them time. If you guys are watching a Disney movie, before the Disney movie's over, they're sitting in your lap. I guarantee you. That's all I got. Have a great day.